Hi, boys and girls. Um, today, I have a story for you called The Curious Garden. And I have the story close up like this because I really want you to be able to see the pictures today. And I want you to think about the setting of this story and how it changes. So I want you to think to yourself what the setting of a story is. It's not the character, it's not the plot. The setting is where the story takes place. And in this story, the setting really changes. So I want you to keep looking at the pictures as I read it to you today to see how the setting changes. The story is called The Curious Garden by Peter Brown. The Curious Garden. There once was a city without gardens or trees or greenery of any kind. Most people spent their time indoors. As you can imagine, it was a very dreary place. And look at the colors, boys and girls, that the author used. However, there was one boy who loved being outside. Even on drizzly days, while everyone else stayed inside, you could always find Liam happily splashing through his neighborhood. It was on one such morning that Liam made several surprising discoveries. He was wandering around the old railway, as he did from time to time, when he stumbled upon a dark stairwell leading up to the tracks. The railway had stopped working years ago, and since Liam had always wanted to explore the tracks, there was only one thing for the curious boy to do. Liam ran up the stairs, pushed open the door, and stepped out onto the railway. The first thing he saw was a lonely patch of color. Wildflowers and plants were the last things he had expected to find up there, but when he took a closer look, it became clear that the plants were dying. They needed a gardener. Second graders, have you ever seen plants or wildflowers that just kind of popped up in a very random place that kind of surprised you? Liam may not have been a gardener, but he knew that he could help. So he returned to the railway the very next day and got to work. The flowers nearly drowned and he had a few pruning problems, but the plants patiently waited while Liam found better ways of gardening. Boys and girls, pruning is when you are when you snip off the dead parts of a plant and kind of trim it. As the weeks rolled by, Liam began to feel like a real gardener. And the plants began to feel like a real garden. And look at the difference already. Most gardeners, I'm sorry, most gardens stay in one place, but this was no ordinary garden. With miles of open railway ahead of it, the garden was growing restless. It wanted to explore. The tough little weeds and mosses were the first to move. They popped up farther and farther down the tracks and were closely followed by the more delicate plants. Over the next few months, Liam and the curious garden explored every corner of the railway. And I'm gonna hold this picture up so you could see all the little parts of the garden that are popping up. Look at that. How is the setting changing? There's another great picture. You can see the broken tracks. How is the setting changing? Why is it changing? Look at the colors. 
After spending his spring and summer and autumn with the garden, Liam's time on the railway finally was interrupted by winter. Heavy blankets of snow fell on the city that season, and for the first time since he had become a gardener, Liam could not visit the plants. Rather than waste his winter worrying about the garden, Liam spent it preparing for spring. And look how he's preparing. After three cold months, the snow finally began to melt and Liam rolled his new gardening gear over to the railway. Winter had taken a toll on the garden. Boys and girls, do you know what that means when something takes a toll on something? That's a word that can mean a lot of different things. But thanks to Liam's planning, his handy new tools and a little help from the sun, the plants soon awoke from their winter sleep. The garden had always wanted to explore the rest of the city and that spring it was finally ready to make its move. Once again, the tough little weeds and mosses set out first. They popped up farther and farther from the railway and were closely followed by the more delicate plants. The garden was especially curious about old forgotten things. plants popped up where they didn't belong. This is kind of funny too. Others mysteriously popped up all at once. And this is kind of funny how he's like an undercover, undercover gardener. But the most surprising things that popped up were the new gardeners, the new people, the new people who started doing the same thing that Liam is doing. Boys and girls, why do you think that happened? Why do you think more people are starting to do this? What do you think was the cause of them to start taking care of gardens? And I love all these little rooftop gardens. And boys and girls, if you're ever in Chicago, <clears throat> there are gardens <clears throat> at the top of, of, the, of certain buildings. <clears throat> and here's some neat pictures of people <clears throat> and how they are enjoying the gardens. Again, how is the setting changing. How are the people changing, boys and girls? Many years later, the entire city had blossomed. But of all the new gardens, Liam's favorite was where it all began. But look now, there's a tree there. This is where it began, <clears throat> but now there's a tree. And look at this picture and all the gardens in the city. Boys and girls, this is a real sweet story about what can happen if somebody just cares and does something. And the author has a note in the back. And one of the favorite, one of my favorite parts of his note is right here. He says, you can find flowers and fields, and even small forests growing wild in every city, you just have to look for them. And as you explore your neighborhood as the weather gets warmer, you will find little pockets of little secret gardens that you never really knew were there. And with a little love and a little care, you can also create a curious garden. I love how the setting in the story changed. I love how one little boy, Liam, is the cause of all the things that happened. Lots of wonderful effects because of his 
care with the curious garden. I hope you enjoyed this story today and um, and I hope you um, enjoyed the pictures and enjoyed the story and I hope it brings a little inspiration for something that you might want to try and take care of near your home. Okay, thank you for listening. Have a wonderful learning day, boys and girls. Bye-bye.